Hi guys, we're back again for another Codex Tournament replay. Seems like suddenly we have a lot of games to play and go through. This time we got Jadar vs Ninjurk in the maps Frazier's Demise. Ninjurk playing Imperial Guard, Jadar's playing Dark Eldar. This could be challenging, low resource map. But once again, I have to say Dark Eldar has the advantage here in terms of experience and actual offensive capabilities. Tier 1 Imperial Guard will have a trouble surviving this kind of onslaught in the game. But let's take a look at how Ninjurk will survive this time. We have uh, Dark Elder starting on the left side of the map. Going straight for the tried, tested and much hated Dark Foundry build. Expecting Hellions and uh, River Jet Bikes. Let's take a look at the uh, poor uh, Imperial Guard. And on the right side of the map we have uh, one Tech Priest and two Guardsmen. Inventory Command going up. I believe Command Squad will be going up as well, followed with Power Generator perhaps. Two Tech Priests working at Inventory Command at the same time means faster Command Squad, and of course it'll go straight for Plasma Generator. Pretty standard so far. Let's take a look at how fast the Hellions will come out now. Probably not so soon. Dark Elder build time is pretty consistent. Not much variety in terms of build speed because you cannot really put two workers together and get acceleration on production bonus. Pretty standard all day long, two mandrakes capture duty. When you're going down Dark Foundry, you really can't spare any more uh, resource for mandrakes. Hellions will come out in like 40 seconds, 1 minute 40 seconds. Probably in two jumps he'll be right at Ninjak's doorstep. But Ninjak already has command squad in 1 minute 20 seconds. And he should be getting a priest immediately instead of just running around uh, solo. Not sure what he's thinking, maybe he forgot. And finally he queues up a priest that will delay his priest a little bit. And uh, make the command squad move a little bit slower when he tries to harass. Okay, uh, first listening post up. A lot of delay in getting the second one, not good. Finally they are on the move. Meanwhile, uh, Hellion's complete at 1 minute 48 seconds. Of course he jumps, not wanting to waste a full meter. Hellions uh, will probably ignore the command squad for now. Command squad still no priest, finally the priest is out. But will not be able to catch up to the Hellions because Hellions can jump. The trouble with this kind of uh, early harass is that command squad can overextend himself pretty quickly. And Hellions has easy time jumping across the map without any negative movement penalty. Mandrix as well, he will harass the guardsmen for free. And the Guardsman really can't stand up to this kind of melee firepower at the start and will probably de decap the strategic point. Yes, uh, and there's nothing the Guardsman can do about it. Mandrick has a lot of hit points. Uh, Hellions, meanwhile, will probably hunt down the generator. But realize it's probably too well defended. Might be time to pull out. Already decaptures one point with Mandrick here. Two Guardsman squad just shooting, shooting down one Mandrick. Two Mandricks will die probably, no. Reinforced in time, and that's a nice disruption by the command squad to save his beloved guardsman. Hmm. So far, one D capture and one loss of uh, Hellion, and two Mandrake nearly lost. In the end, I think it's a pretty good trade, but as as usual, River Jetpack is here, and that will pose a problem. Let's switch view to uh, Imperial Guard side. They have already lost any hope of capturing this relic, and this uh, listening post will need uh, recapturing. But this northern end is very, very vulnerable. Tactical control is being constructed. Not sure why. Probably wants to get a general. Uh, I mean, grenade launcher. This mandrake squad uh, suffers a casualty finally, and I don't see any um, psyker being added on. I'm not sure why. Psyker will do a great job of killing one hellion at least with strip soul. But right now, this melee squad. Uh, is having trouble trying to uh, survive actually. You can see here the general takes a lot of hits and the poison blade research has been upgraded and this general will die slowly. Should pull out perhaps. Not. A yep. Priest will now try to escape but not much hope with the river jet bike uh, here. River J jet bike just decaptured this uh, strategic point and uh, not much hope for a guardsman to make a comeback now. Even though they can still garrison and survive, they only have two strategic points to draw a resource from. And their attempt to recapture this relic uh, will end up with a disaster since this river jet bike is already doing some damage. 
And no, you can't survive that kind of incoming damage. I'm sorry. You should really cancel the capture here, but... It seems that the uh, Imperial Guard has given up. Taken hold victory has been already been triggered. They've already taken control of two strategic points here. Dark Eldar staring at a resource advantage 80-20 here, and looks like Ninjerk is going full retard, and the uh, Overwatch finally realizes the uh, Guardsman is being killed and pulls back. However, Six this full squad of Hellions and uh, Mandrake has already captured a strategic point, denied him this relic point. Too much resource advantage, 97-20. Doesn't seem to be going for tier 2 yet, not really needed. Can just go heavy, tier 1. Even gets a LP2 upgrade, not sure why. Can just go all in now and win, probably. Heavy river jet bike investment would probably result in a win right now. But, what can I say? It's probably GG at this point. Still no tier 2, not enough power, I guess. Not sure what uh, Dark Elder is doing. Ninja decide to forfeit. He doesn't know how to play again. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, okay. Just forfeit then. Let's not waste people's time. And Dark Elder hits tier 2. Not sure why. Let's speed things up. It's getting boring here. Yeah, it's pretty dis disappointing. I just click. Okay, whatever you say. Okay. Not much going on here. Hellions tries to jump in, gets damaged by uh, grenades. Garthman try to pull out. And it seems the command squad has died again. Pretty sad state of affairs, I'm gonna say. Quite a boring game. Not sure whether I just should skip to the conclusion or just watch this uh, slaughter continue. Well, let's just enjoy the spectacle. Missing out a lot of action here. Tries to get a turret, perhaps. A little bit too late. One completed in time. Guardsman gets poison. Witchered by Mandrakes. Gets the uh, Guardsman armor. What's the point? This squad is fully reinforced, but no match for River Jet Bikes and uh, one Mandrake squad. Hex Breeze gets killed. And no, this Heavy Bolter turret is not complete. And the countdown is already at 3 minutes 20 seconds. A slow agonizing end for the Imperial Guardsman. Did not manage to hit tier 2, I think. Yeah, did not manage to hit tier 2. Not enough resource, 5620 income. This map is very punishing for Imperial Guardsmen. If they cannot secure a strategic point, everything is over. What is the best play here? Top map. No chance of holding on to Relic, too isolated. Best chance probably to try to uh, bunker away at this choke point. But the problem here is the, this side is very invulnerable to attack as well. And with take and hold victory, that forces the Imperial Guardsmen to come out and decapture. Or just lose the game in 2 minutes 30 seconds. So, not much hope. Just one uh, squad of Imperial Guard, two Tech Priests. Has a lot of float, but only a miracle play can save them from this uh, two full squad of Mandrakes, probably fully upgraded, and one Hellions, and two River Jet Bike, and Archon squad is coming in as well. Yeah, looks like the end. And um, Ninjerk finally found a key to delete his building, <laughs> and that's probably why it's game over finally. And that's the first game taken uh, easily by Dark Elders. Let's see the score here, 36-6 killed, yeah, pretty dominating. Resource-wise, uh, Jedar also has most of the map. Technology-wise, quite equal, however, I think Jedar will have the edge shortly after he hits tier 2. Well, Ninja upgrades a lot of his units with the grenade launcher, but it did not translate into any uh, sort of advantage of comeback. Anyway, let's move on to the next game. Uh, Jedar versus Ninja again. Ninjerk will be taking his Space Marine against Jedar's Necron in the map Fata Morga. Quite a balanced map. Let's see how Jedar will approach this match, probably quite defensively. Doesn't need to push out so early. Necron is not like that. Maybe the odd uh, Scarab harass the decapture. But I spoke too soon. Let's just see how, how this goes. 
and I entered the match with no expectation as well. Four scarabs queued up and one Necron Warrior. No fear at all. Uh, Ninjerk is uh, stuck in the no building phase at the start with his servitor. It looks like the great start already. And he goes for a 7 squad rush. I want to adopt a surprise tone here, but I just can't. Why? Because I'm very tired. I just start work. At, I just finished work at 10, 9 9 p.m. Reach home at 10, and I'm watching this crazy game between uh, Ninjerks. <laughs> the duty. Uh, pro tip to Ninjerk, as a fellow Space Marine player, if you want to go for a Marine uh, Scout rush, pick a smaller map like Blood, uh, like Blood River or Shrine of Exalion instead of Fatal Morga. It gives a uh, Jedar more time to respawn, and of course, he's gonna get a turret here, and you cannot stop it. It's too late, the distance between your base and his base is quite sizable. And you did not notice this turret being built and you hit the wrong guy. Oh, finally you hit him, but it's too late. This uh, build will complete. And this uh, ghost turret will start to rape you. And you do not bring a scout probe to uh, short circuit them. Look at the range of this ghost turret. Pretty insane, huh? Might be best played to just pull away a bit and... Uh, I take out the smaller Scarab squad instead of uh, going against these. Uh, this squad might get wiped. Ninjurk did not realize. One Scarab down. Looks like uh, Ninjurk has successfully killed two Scarab squad. We'll, we'll take out another one shortly. Yep, nice. But this uh, Necron War is out and his uh, economy is not enough to support the Scouts, if you want to go for a scout rush, at least use your last scout to capture one point and get listening posts up. That way you have some economy to recover the game. Because right now I don't I don't see a way to come back if this uh, rush fail. It's an all-in, I know. But you need resource to reinforce, you see. And it looks like uh, Jedi will just spam uh, free Necron Warriors. Uh, scouts are actually putting in work here. Should just stand still and fire, my friend. Stand still and fire this Necron Warrior. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you going to melee? I don't understand. Jedar, meanwhile, just builds more scarabs to replace the losses. No big loss for him. Let's take a look at his economy. Still okay, I guess, 40 income. Come on, shoot at this Necron Warrior for fuck's sake. Why are you letting a Necron Warrior kill your army? You can destroy generators all you want, but if your army gets slaughtered, there's no way to come back from this. Okay, uh, scouts decide they're outmatched by this. Decide to pull back. Um, Necron still has enough a decent stockpile resource to rebuild. However, the same cannot be said for the Marines. We're staring at no resource at all, and yes, Look at this useless ghost turret suddenly having this kind of reach. No, my friend, you cannot capture the strategic point for free. Get out of there. Ninjak does not realize and loses scouts. Yeah, this looks like to be GG here. It's going to be a long, slow walk for the Necron Warriors to Ninjak's base. Really, his, his army is really no threat right now. There's no income. If only you had like one scout capping right now, you can actually make enough probably to advance uh, to advance the game into higher tier units. Maybe at the Force Commander or something. Right now, Necron Lord is queued up, and this will probably spell the doom of the Space Marine player. Area secured. Yeah, not 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 a very uh, exciting rush. Lacks the basic know how, you know. If you want to rush, pick a smaller map. Don't do it in, in Fata Morga. It's a nice try, I guess. You've never done this before. It's great. I mean, it works. But as you can see, you only have a small army and no economy at all. 26 0 is basically nothing. You can't replace your losses. You can't improve your economy. You're, pra you're practically fucked. An all in is fine. But. This is no way to win an all-in, basically, <laughs> without a, without any resource. 
And this Necron, this is a waste of time at this point watching this. We know it's gonna be, it'll be over soon. Let's just look at Necrons uh, as they try to find... Uh, if I'm, uh, if I'm, I'm, I'm Jadar, I'll just go straight away to his base with Necron War and check out whether he has anything. If he has nothing, then all, uh, all I do is just teleport, I mean, just walk my Necron Warriors to his base. And that's game over right there, instead of wasting my time here. Worrying about a single scout. <laughs> or maybe send a Scarab to scout ahead and see whether you can counter Tarot, because if you counter Tarot, there's nothing you can do right now. Okay, uh, instead it gets more generators to improve his economy and still pretend that Ninjurk actually has a chance when Ninjurk actually has no chance at all. He has no economy, still nothing. He's not rebuilding, he's just walking walking around with a single unit, pretending he's still in the game. And Jedar still not pushing at all, just keeping it safe, you know? Can't be sure. He'll probably realize that uh, it's game over once he sees this. Oh, you haven't capped the strategic point. Okay, it's game over. Now I know. Now I know my ABC. This Wraith will catch up to your scout marines and slowly kill them to death. Yep, he even checks the relic and there's no relic here. Okay, let, let me check this one. Let's see whether uh, Ninja has anything built here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing. What an interesting turn of situation. It looks like there's no threat at all. Let's walk my neck on water slowly and waste Steve's time commentating on this replay. Oh, fuck me. Why even try at this point? Just, just select this and hit the delete key. Fuck's sake, hit the delete key already. Fuck, having fun? No, I'm not having fun. That's it. 2-0. 2-0 to... Jedar. And that's it. I hope you guys uh, learned something at least. I, I can't say you enjoy it. I certainly didn't. And I don't really have to say much about the military wise. Ninja killed some scarabs, but he lost way more to the Ghost Terror. That all in did not work. Never ever go all in like that. On the, in such a medium sized map like that. Hope you guys learned something, and this resource is pretty dismal. Both sides are pretty having poor, poor resource gain, and no technology research. That was a rather low energy game, guys. But anyway, Jedar takes 2-0 victory, not surprising at all. And let's hope uh, Ninja does better next time. Thank you for watching.